For 40 days on God, Family, and Guns, we'll be focusing on God. We have a series on spiritual warfare, the end of times, the prophecy of Daniel, and the prophecy of Malachi. If you want to see our gun-related or Second Amendment-related content, you can see that on Patreon or the History of Weapons. Those links are below. Welcome to a series that we call The End of Times, where we're going through the book of Revelation verse by verse to try our best to see what it is we can expect to happen in the end times, but more importantly, what it is we should be doing in the end times, because it is that, our behavior and our hearts, that determine eternity when Judgment Day comes. And it is coming. And as we've gone through the book of Revelation, we've got to a critical piece where the judgment of God is going to be unleashed on the earth. And there's some proclamations made. And there's this proclamation from an angel preaching the everlasting gospel. In the last episode, we talked about what that everlasting gospel is. But what is it this angel is saying? So we're just going to pick it up in chapter 14, starting verse 6. Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment has come and worship him who made heaven and earth the sea and the springs of water now last time we talked about this deceit of Satan and his angels posing to be angels of light angels of righteousness and biblically speaking and again we do not use other people's commentary because what we're seeing in the end times is people are twisting the word of god which is the everlasting gospel the everlasting gospel reigns true and the words of god will live from everlasting to everlasting and jesus said heaven and earth may pass away but my words will by no means pass away and that is the everlasting gospel so what is this angel declaring? Well, I believe Amos saw this exact same moment, and we can see a little more detail if we look at Amos 5, starting in verse 16. Therefore, the Lord God of hosts, the Lord says this, There shall be wailing in all streets, and they shall say in all the highways, Alas, alas, they shall call the farmer to mourning, and skillful lamentations of wailing in all vineyards. There shall be wailing, for I will pass through you, says the Lord. Woe to you who desire the day of the Lord, for what good is the day of the Lord to you? It will be darkness and not light. It will be as though a man fled from a lion and a bear met him, or as though he went into the house, leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Is not the day of the Lord darkness and not light? Is it not very dark, with no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your feast days, and I do not savor your sacred assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings and your grain offerings, I will not accept them, nor will I regard your fat and peace offerings. Take away from me the noise of your songs, for I will not hear the melody of your stringed instruments, but let justice run down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. That's what he is declaring. It's a dark time that's coming. For those who do not fear the Lord and regard His word as truth, most Christians will be following the Antichrist, they will be following the lawless one, they will be following this false satanic doctrine which we already see them following to many degrees. You know, there's a mystery around this that we can see in 2 Thessalonians 2, starting verse 7. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. In other words, there's a moment where there's a confusion, there's, there's a restraining of the lawless one, but then there's this moment in time where God takes his hands off and lawlessness abounds. And we'll pick it up. And the lawless one will be revealed whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power signs and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. 
And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. That's exactly what's happening in America. The lawless one is abounding, and for this reason, God has sent a strong delusion that we should believe the lie, except for those who are filled with the Spirit. And believe the everlasting gospel of the Word of God, who is from, which is from everlasting to everlasting. People love to hear their ears tickled. They don't want to hear the Word of God because it conflicts with what they want. Because there's been a strong delusion put on churches in America and around the world, and they are confused. But the Word of God speaks loud, and it speaks truth, and it is from everlasting to everlasting, and that's exactly what this angel is proclaiming. So if we go back to Revelation 14, starting verse 6, Then I saw an angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment has come, and worship Him who made heaven and earth, the sea, and the spring of water. But yet, people, will, they'll ignore it. They're already hearing that, but they're already ignoring it, because they don't want to hear this. They want to hear what Satan has to say, and they're just eating it up. It's a strong delusion and they're eating it up because we are seeing it take place before our very eyes. Many people that I've reached out to around the world, it, it, there's many of us, we're watching most evangelical Christians as if they're in a fog. We, you just want to shake them and say, snap out of it. Don't you see what's happening in the world? But they don't because of this strong delusion that God has put over them. Why? Because they do not fear the Lord. They do not fear His coming judgment, but it's coming, whether you fear it or not. And there will be a day where you, wear, where you will fear the Lord, and you will be subject to His justice and judgment. So love to hear your thoughts on all that. Put it in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel to Patreon, that link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.